we've all done it. We've clicked on that questionable link. We've sent money to what we thought was a family member, but actually that family member also clicked on a questionable link. And now we just sent our money to God knows where. Or maybe it's a business deal gone wrong. We thought this person was trustworthy, but they were not. In this video, I want to talk about how to get out of that victim mentality, come out of it as the victor, and know what red flags to look out for in the future. So let's get with it. One of the things in my day-to-day -day business, unrelated to the DJing world, that I realized very, very quickly is that it's very important that when you're building new clients, that you get referrals, that you find out, are there other companies that have worked with this individual before? Have they paid on time? Are they flaky? Do they cancel a lot? What does that look like? Referrals are a really great way to weed out the sketchiness. So within our industry, you might be hiring somebody to master your tune. You might be hiring someone to do a photo shoot. And it's usually pretty easy to go out there and see who have you done logos for before. And then you can contact those artists and find out, did they do a good job? Were they, you know, on time? You know, did you feel like you got your money's worth? Referrals are a really great way to just figure out if something is legitimate or not. Another big thing though is we have all been in situations where we got scammed, whether it's in the music industry or elsewhere. And while it's really, really easy to be like, oh my goodness, this person totally screwed me out of this dollar amount or my time and energy and work, there are usually warning signs that we missed. And maybe right at the beginning, you're having a hard time seeing those warning signs. But let me tell you, there are always warning signs. The first things first is if something seems too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. Another big red flag for some folks is that there were no contracts established, especially in a situation where maybe it's a very high dollar amount that this person is asking for. As a DJ, it makes sense that we are going to require a deposit in order to secure a date, but we should at least be establishing some sort of contract, some sort of paper trail with the promises of what this entails and how that person can get the dollar amount back. If you are also giving a deposit towards a logo, towards a music video, a photo shoot, what have you, it's really important to establish, you know, is this dollar amount something I can get back? If you cancel, if you do this, that, and the other thing, what does that look like? And that person should be able to establish it within detail. If you're asking questions with regards to the work that you're looking for and the person takes a really long time to answer you back, if they don't have a professional response, if they seem like they're getting annoyed with you, these are red flags. If somebody is trying to prove to you that they're trustworthy and they don't actually have any references for you to look out for, they're just saying, you can trust me, that is another red flag. But if it goes the other way around and you are doing work for somebody else and you haven't established a deposit for your work, you haven't established, you haven't established a contract or a paper trail with specific details about what you're offering them, what that's gonna look like, when you're gonna get paid. When you're explaining these things to people, this is a really great opportunity to see if they're on the same page because there's just so many times where there's guessing work involved. And this is one of the silliest mistakes that I've made for myself early on in the day of my DJ career. I remember playing a music festival and without establishing how much I was going to get paid or even establishing that it was going to come down with a guest. The promoter, unfortunately, at the time, took advantage of my kindness and decided, well, we didn't establish that, so I have no money put to the side for you. Even though it totally would make sense that they would just pay every single artist, even if it was a hundred bucks, a guest pass and a free meal or what have you, even though that's something that they should have done. 
it was also my responsibility to establish what that was going to look like in the first place so I knew what I was getting into. There was a red flag that there was never a contract. There was a red flag that there was never a conversation about what that was going to look like and the silliness of just assuming on my part. To this day, if I throw a party, the first thing I do is establish with the artist, this is what we're paying, this is what I'd like your set time to be, and this is the style we're going for. I'll pay you by this time in the evening. Does that work for you? I'm establishing something in the in the lines of what the night is going to look like, how much I'm going to pay right up front. That lets the person know that I'm not assuming they're playing for free I, and I'm giving them an offer. This is something I feel like we need to be establishing all of the time. When somebody offers us a gig, the excitement of, oh my God, I'm going to get to play this music festival or, oh my God, I'm going to be a part of this amazing show I've always wanted to play in this club. If you're not establishing the pay, what they're offering, if there's going to be DJ gear there, there is just so much room for error. And then we feel like the victim when we walk into a situation and there's no pay. Meanwhile, we haven't even established that we require payment in the first place. Yes, even though, even though, and I acknowledge this, artists should be getting paid for their gigs. Putting ourselves in that victim mentality is not empowering. It is so important to empower yourself by having these conversations ahead of time. <sighs> all right, that's it. That's all. So much love for y'all. Hope you found this video helpful.